Hello? Okay. You're just being weird on me? Oh, I gotta switch the phone. I did it again. Okay. There we go. And it's Monster Art School with Steve. I'm gonna be changing that sign out soon. Um, we're gonna get a new sign. Yeah, of course it's going to be called Monster Art School. I thought we were going to change it to Monster Art Club. I, it could have been Monster Art Club, but I think we're just going to stick with Monster Art School. So here you go, Luna. Uh, give me a Luna's going to have paper, and I'm going to have paper, and then... We today, all have paper, actually. Today, I think we're going to start with a more traditional dragon. Hey, Penelope. Yeah, I'm excited too, Penelope. I think this is going to be a more of a traditional oh. dragon, and then we're going to do more different dragons as we go along. Why do you like, keep stealing this? What's stealing what? Like your chair? It's my chair in my studio, that's why. No, it's not. So what we're going to start it's with... Chair. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Do, 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 I need a pencil, too. For the new logo. I know. I'll get you a pencil. I'm going to show you what I'm doing for the new logo. Uh, so. yeah. This is the beginning of the new logo right here. Um, so that's what we're going to do, and it's going to say Monster Art School with Steve Ellis. And then there's going to be a Monster Art School page on Facebook. But. And I'm gonna, we're going to post we're gonna post our drawings up there and everything. It'll be just devoted to Monster Art School. Because I thought that'd be a lot of fun to have it. Hi, Jamie. A lot of fun to have it be... The, uh, the Hi, Alfred. The creature here you go. is me. Is me. You mean the little creature, the little, little, creature. little girl creature? That's me. Yeah. Because that's not Lenora, it's you. I'm the same type of creature as. Okay, you are. All right, so today we're going to do a dragon. The dragon is my Chinese dragon monster. It is my Chinese birthday month. Oh! Animal. Oh, okay. Cool, that's wild. Oh, that's great. I completely misunderstood that. So let's get started. So, um,. Luna, you ready? So Luna, I need your I need your advice on what this dragon needs to have. So Luna wants because big I... wings because you're the dragon expert today. Yeah. So you want giant wings? Uh, yeah, giant wings. Well, now, the thing about giant wings is that when let's, let's, if you draw the wings, like, okay, like this, if you draw the wings it. really, really big, what's going to happen? Have to draw the torso just listen, just the listen. Torso a little small. Yeah, that means the dragon itself has to be small. Yeah. Right. So. Then we're going to have a small dragon. We're going to have like cool details to do on the dragon. We can do those. It'll be harder to do cool details on the dragon because it's going to be really small. We're trying to do something like simple though. Right. So, so I'd rather do, do not well, super simple, but I'd rather spend more time on the dragon than the wings. Because the wings <laughs> are big made and open. In made in China. You just say made in China. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Let's, I don't know why I laughed. Can you see the page? Yeah. See, it's hard when the paper's like that. They can't see it. So it has to be like this, because otherwise it, okay. it goes off. Okay, so we're going to do, right today we're going to do a more traditional dragon, and then I think some the, later on this week we're going to do something a little bit more. We're going to start moving towards, like we had a drake and a water dragon and a, a worm a and maybe a wyvern. Well, we get yeah. a wyvern. There, like, um, there are a bunch of other dragons from around the, around the world, like a Welsh dragon or a Chinese dragon. Or oh, a, by the way. If what? you guys don't know Zburator. what it's a wolf dragon. It's a wolf dragon, so it's a mix between my two favorite things. Right, wolves and dragons. So we're going to do that later on this week. So today, though, I think we're going to be doing a more traditional dragon first. Yeah. Okay. And we may even do something like a Night Fury type of dragon. We can't do the Night Fury thing that's, because that's, you know, copyrighted, copyrighted by uh, the people who Dreamworks. created... What? Dreamworks. Dreamworks. So we're, we can't do that, or at least not in that style. But, and we also might do a baby dragon. That could be fun. So, but I think I for right now... I also do a special uh, thing about drawing. Oh, guys, by the way, I'm going to try and... I, I, I'm going to try and draw a lot and not look at the comments a lot. So you guys can okay. just... Well, I have the comments here that I can maybe go on. I can look at the thing. Okay, yeah. so... I'm going to go, I'm going to say, let's, what should we start with, you think? How many, Ow. like, you think a fire dragon, right, has to have what? A fire dragon has to have fire. Well, yeah. Uh, it has a tail. Okay. 
claws or talons. Claws and talons, all right. They are all a... Uh, In order to breathe fire, level. what does it need, you think? Chest fire or... Well, does it, yeah, yeah. Well, how does it hold the fire in its belly? Does it have, like, special compartments in its chest to I don't, hold the what? fire? <laughs> what do you think? Penelope said, "I don't know what my dad is." Yeah, I saw. Um, so I think I think a I think a fire dragon probably has. Well, we should probably show it about to breathe fire, or breathing fire. What do you think? I think we're gonna go with it's gonna be br- about to breathe. It's gonna be breathing fire. Ooh, we could do a halitosis dragon, which means it has really bad breath. No. Oh come on. No. Stinky breath dragon. Well, I mean it's. It's just like you. Ah, you're so funny. <laughs> That's my daughter, the comedian, everyone. Okay, so... <laughs> hey, at least... Well... At, at least, least I don't look like you. Right, that's true. At least your jokes can't compete with your looks. Ah... Uh... Stop it. Get, get out of my face. All right, so we got to draw something here. <laughs> kind of like lighting your own farts, but backwards. Okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is a roll. Real classy episode on Monster <laughs> Art School. Okay, so um, what I think we're going to start with is is we're going to get to the head, okay? But I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the dragon... Spark, spark sack. It's apparently oh, called spark sack. Spark sack? Well, I mean... But I, it's probably yeah. like in the anatomy and it doesn't like show. Well, yeah. I mean, spark sack, fire, it really, fire it belly. Work, it draws the warmth from its chest. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, we don't. I don't know. I mean, they're made up, right? So no, we can make I it up however know. we want. You do know, you, know, you don't do know, know because I they're do not know real. I Dragons do know aren't real. I do know details. Though. Okay, you, you, but you can make up details, and some people can make up details, but you can't. You know, you can't. Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna Camille's, start right now Camille's with. Said, yeah, my mom calls a drag calls it dragon breath, and somebody's breath it stinks. Oh yeah. 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 So I'm going to start with the circle, I mean the, the, the sphere like I normally do, but I'm going to try and what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw an arc around like this. So it's going to be an arc around that circle and then coming around like this. Okay? So like imagine like a giant cube. Can you let me catch up? Yeah, sure. With a circle in the middle of it. Whoops, let me erase those extra lines. I have a plan. Yeah, my mom calls it a dragon, someone's dragon breath, when there's someone's breath stinks. That's nice. What I said. All right, well, now I, I know what to, not to do around, around Tiana Trost. <laughs> it's I, have bad breath. Yeah, I think no. um, no, we do. So, um, so here we're going to have the head, and then we're going to do a, a spiral around that head that goes like this, and then we're going to go like that. All right. Dragon breath is generally hot. They, they, some dragons are very, well, very, this, very. Like, if it's a fire breathing dragon, then I imagine it would be hot. If it was a water breathing dragon, it probably wouldn't be hot. Actually, or an ice breathing uh, dragon. Okay. Oh, uh, those are. Wait, so now. I know they are called ice wings because. Well, I, that's in those books. They're called ice wings. I know. That's called those books. See, I know it's the one thing that Luna has trouble with is that. When you, when, you know, just because they call it a uh, Norwegian Ridgeback in Harry Potter doesn't mean Norwegian Ridgeback applies to dragons outside oh, of Harry Potter. I don't, just no, like I don't fire know. wings or mud wings don't apply to things That's outside like, of those things. Of fire dragons that are just sky wings? Whatever. But, that, but again, like I said, that's, that's only in that book. So anyway, uh, first I'm going to draw that. I'm going to go back to that orb that I created in the middle, and I'm going to draw across it like this. And then I'm going to draw... This way, uh, that way, yeah, around I think it, it like that. Better if they have like one giant sharp spike on their on their nose. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a big spike on the nose. So the next thing I'm gonna well, do at least is it's small but very sharp. I'm gonna make a line going across here. It also apparently has spikes on its wings. What does? Okay, they can. From my point of view, they can have spikes anywhere. Uh, it's all up to what we make up, but we got to draw here, okay? Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to draw from this point and that point. We're going to go up to draw a cone like this. All right? <coughs> Not a cone, sorry. Uh, just a, like a, a triangle with a flat tip like that. And then we're going to, from there, 
draw down. And we're gonna make like a, almost a, a box out of this. And we're gonna bring this back to here. Okay? Uh, you See what I'm doing there? Whatever you say, dude. Okay, whatever I say, dude. Love hearing that. <laughs> now, from here, I'm gonna draw a line down at an angle. And then back, I'm gonna connect this to that line. So it'll be a curved line back there. And then from here on this oh, side, wait. see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Really simple. It's not pretty. My dragon head is not pretty. Remember, draw light so you don't ruin your paper. Not ruining. And now, so now we're gonna draw up like this. I'm not ruining my paper. Okay. So now what you should have is the basis of a okay. of a cone and then the lower jaw. You know, the cone of the nose and the lower jaw. So you should be able to see that right now, right? I, Don't make it too long. Don't make this too long because it's got to be able to, you have to imagine that they <laughs> shut up together. So that lower mount, that lower jaw looks a little too long for an upper jaw. But okay. All right. Now, from here, let's say Luna said she wanted to have a, a horn on the nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of this square. I mean, of this shape. And the center isn't going to be... The obvious center, like the obvious center would be right there. But since we're looking at this from three dimensions, it's, the center is going to be somewhere around here. It's going to be a little further away from us. So we draw that center line and then... I'm adding details already. We can throw a big horn there on the nose, like that. It's going to be a flap here. Okay. And now, where we put those two dots to start, we're going to draw a shape like this. It's basically a big eye shape, okay? Now, we can't do that over here, so we're just going to draw the top of that like that. And we'll bring this in to here. Mine's not going to be big. And we'll bring it's not derpy, this up to here. My snout's a little derpy. Your snout's a little derpy? Okay. Well, you got a derpy snout. That's okay, I guess. Everything's, everything is derpy. I can never find my erasers anymore. This really nope. stinks. The erasers just keep disappearing around my studio. That's what happens when your kids take all your art supplies. Hey! What? It's true. I don't do that. You I don't? don't? You do too. Don't lie. No, I don't. So, so get rid of those extra lines. Just remember, though, leave that center dot right there. Okay? Wait, what? Here. See that center dot? We want to keep that I right there. Can't. Really? You didn't do it. Your center dot should be right about here. Oh. Remember, it's a little further to one side than the other, to the side away from us. It's closer. Yeah, there you go. So we wouldn't see the inside of his eye because that's on the opposite side. Sorry. That's okay. So you just see. So what this line is here is looks more like a, mud a line like this. Some mud dragons, in my experience, have a okay. bulky snout. Well, th that's fine. So now what we're going to do next is I'm going to draw... Dad, out does from that look right. Yeah, it look, yours looks more snake like. That's cool. So Okay. Well, how's this? Your nose is longer than the nose that I drew. But you can't interrupt me every 30 seconds. So right from here and here, well that would be bad. We're going to draw from the top of that eye ridge back. And that'll be the forehead or the top of the head. And then from here we can draw a triangle coming back, and another triangle coming back like this. And oh, I'm going to say... today's a fire dragon. Yeah, today's a fire dragon. And then down here we can go... I kind of figure that fire dragons have a lot of angles to them. So their armor or their their uniform... What, uniform? Their really armor is going to be very spiky. Well, I know. Uh -huh. They don't really have many... They don't really wear much, but... No, I don't mean clothes. Cards. I mean... I don't mean clothes. I mean their I mean their scales. scales. Yeah, their scales are gonna be very. It's gonna be very spiky. Uh, so I'm gonna draw in My here. I'm gonna half circle, so half shape it's in there. Out of it. Okay. And then from this center area here, I'm gonna draw back, and I'm gonna follow right back up to that line there that we drew from the beginning, and then we can start putting. 
spikes out here. And the spikes can be any kind of shape. Like you could make them like that. But what I would do is I would make them kind of consistent so that it doesn't look like you kind of forgot how to draw the spikes as you went along. And so where you could make the spikes go get bigger or smaller wherever you want them to. These are kind of Godzilla spikes for those of you who know Godzilla. Um, and then on the other side here, I'm gonna go and draw another arc this way. And we'll come around. So we're getting that curve of his neck. And now, in order to make this look, the curve of his neck look like it's three dimensional, we wanna draw, remember that we have these curves on his back, uh, not curves, these, uh, sorry, that it's a tube, right? So it's a three dimensional object. So remember that we have to consider that three dimensional object. Now, I imagine that a fire dragon is gonna be kind of compact as a dragon, as opposed to like one that might be really, really long. He's gonna be he's gonna be bulkier. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's my thought. So I'm gonna put his arms closer to his head. I'm gonna make mine. So yours. well, remember we're gonna do different dragons every day. So you know each one is gonna be is gonna have different you know things. So what we're gonna do is here we're gonna draw a circle or a, a, a ellipse, and then we'll draw another ellipse out here for his shoulders, and then from here. We can draw a cone going out like this, and I think he's gonna have more lizard-like arms and legs, this guy. So lizards don't have their legs go down like we do. Their legs go out to the side and then go down. So he's gonna have legs like this. So you make these cones that we've drawn a million times before, cones like this, and then we'll draw an orb for the knees, and then we'll bring Another cone down. I think this is the most realistic to the ground. flame I've drawn. Yeah, well, you're drawing it ahead. I was going to draw the flames later. But if you want to draw the flames first, go ahead. And then up here, I'm going to make sure to draw the yeah, like a, bones on the back. Uh, apparently, these spikes look like killer croc spikes, apparently. Cool. All right. So, what I'm doing here is that's the scapula bone on the back. I'm just assuming it has a scapula because why not? And then back here, I'm gonna draw the tube of the body going back, like so. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna have it come out a little bit more because I feel like it's getting kind of small on the piece of paper. And you can adjust your drawing as you go too. Uh, because, you know, we all make mistakes or, or we all change our minds as we go. Because like when I first started this, I didn't know I was gonna have them down on all, four, you know, down on all fours like this. So that was just something I decided as I went on. So here, right around here, I'm gonna draw a big sphere like that. And what that's gonna be is, that's gonna be his chest. And I imagine his chest is pretty big because they have to be able to breathe in deep and breathe out fire. So I'm gonna give him quite a big deep chest. And back here, I'm gonna have his body go out to his legs here, his back legs here. I'm kind of figuring this out as I go, so we're gonna make a few mistakes. So I'm gonna have his, I'm gonna have his legs up. We're gonna make yeah. a... Don't you have any extra things? An ellipse? I don't know where they are. What? Draw an ellipse here, and we're gonna think about that there's another ellipse on the other side. There might be one in there, hon. I know what I'm saying. If you want to go get it, you can. Um, so now we this is going to be from the hip down to his knee. So remember, it should be a an orb, right? The knee is going to be here, and then we're going to draw back to the back of his foot. What? Well, that'll work. It's not as good as the tings that I like, but. Work. We've got more tings. We've got a ton of, if you just want an eraser, if you don't want that ting, there's a ton down there. Alright. Alright. So now, Hello. from here, we can draw kind of a triangle out, and we'll get his toes.
toes. And the way we'll do his toes is we'll draw a little, we'll separate this foot into three circles. And then we'll draw kind of Sorry. tubes out and we'll make knuckles. And then we'll draw down into claws like this. All right. And I think the tail is gonna have to go off the page and we'll bring it around down here. Because we ran out of space on the page. Now I just realized this dragon might be a drake because I don't think he's gonna have wings today. We don't have much room for wings. I'm sorry about that. Here. But he's a fire breathing dragon with no wings, which is fine, I guess. Sorry about the wings, guys. But if you want to throw wings in, they can go back up here. Now, okay, yours is going to have wings. I heard that. So now what we're going to do, let's get back to the head. So I kind of oversimplified the head a little bit, and I want to see what we can do to make this cooler. So inside this big eye shape, we're going to draw a little eye. Okay? And that's like a little... So it's a curved line underneath and a curved line over. Now, why are we drawing a little eye inside the big eye? Because this big eye shape is actually his eye socket. So if you draw little lines in here, like this, you can see the folds under his eyes. And then here, he's got his cheekbone right through here. So if you wanna show the cheekbone and then bring it up to the nose like this. And you can start putting spikes even on his cheekbone out here, like that. And then you can put more spikes on his eyebrow. But if you do it on one side, you gotta do it on the other. So if you've got four spikes here, you can put four spikes there, so a little one and three others. Maybe you got in an accident? Why do you get into an accident? Dragons fight each other. No, I know, I was, I was just, what, what, I was wondering what motivated the question about him getting into an accident. Oh, maybe it's a lack of wings, I don't know. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the mouth, so we have that original line, a we're gonna go up arm. and down and back around and down like this. And we're gonna come out at the corners. We're gonna make it a upside down triangle here. So that when we get to these corners, we can draw a cool angular nostril there. Because I figure if you're a fire breathing dragon, you have to be able to inhale a lot of air to to fill your belly with fire. So you have to be able to suck in air through those giant nostrils. So we'll give him some big giant nostrils there. And we'll put scales on those nostrils like that. And we'll bring it down. And then we'll have our nice big horn on the front there. And you could even throw a ridge around it like that. And then up here on his nose, Actually, we'll bring these scales down like this. Your dragon's going to have wings, but I'm going to cover its body because it'll be in battle. Okay. And the way we know, the way we know that all these scales meet correctly is remember that original line that we drew from here down to here. We're going to follow that line to know where to put the center of the scales. So we can put the set the scales like that. That way we make sure that everything we do on one side is the same on the other. Now, I'm gonna bring the, uh, that, that, was, that was the cheekbone there. Now I'm thinking it's not the cheekbone. Maybe the cheekbone's up here, a little bit higher in here. And we can draw scales running along that like this. My dragon twisted into the air. Um, yeah, dragon twisted okay. into the air and covered it. Ooh, that looks neat. And I think the tip of his nose, or the tip of his snout, is going to come in and get sharp and pointy out here. Correct. 
It is a snout. Um, and now here, thank you. Now under here, what we're gonna do is we wanna draw into his mouth here and then down and out like so. And we're gonna do the same down here. We're gonna draw here, down, and out. And I think the down here area we can throw, down here under the chin, we can throw some more spikes. Like one, two, three, and then we'll throw some scales on like this. Song. That's okay. They won't know. That I'm not worried about. If we were playing a copyrighted song, I think I'd be worried about it. But I'm not worried about you singing, humming something. That's okay. So now, um, what we're going to do here is these, this, this area here, we can draw kind of a thin webbing line over. That's kind of the inside of the cheekbone. If you look at like an alligator or you look at other like snakes, there's this material that connects inside their mouth uh, from roof to bottom. It's a muscle, um, but it connects the bottom of the jaw to the upper jaw. And so that kind of shows up in some snakes and in alligators. So now we can throw the teeth. Now I'm thinking that if you're a dragon that breathes fire, right, you probably don't have to have big sharp teeth because you've already cooked your food. So it's nice and, you know, crispy and soft so you don't need like big sharp like fangs what you probably need are teeth for kind of uh munching your food right grinding it and tearing so maybe your teeth aren't like you know they're not big fang like dracula fang kind of teeth they're more serrated bumps like this so you draw them maybe they're a little bit and see, I'm just trying, kind of drawing a sawtooth kind of shape. And I want to make sure that when I do them, I make sure that I, I, I wrap them around each other to make this. And these sawtooth, you can just turn them into cones, right? That's one way to treat them, is you just treat them like they're, they're cones coming out from inside. And on the back of the mouth... Bye. Bye, Penelope. On the back of the mouth, we can draw Bye, little Penelope. teeth. So now we have the inside of the Sad mouth to face. deal with. Sad face. Yes. Sad face. So see this here that we have for the lower jaw? We're going to mimic that in reverse here. So we're going to create an interior of the mouth there. And then we can bring it down in here and then just fill this shape in in shadow. We don't need to see the rest of it. And later on we can throw flames in there, but right now I'm just going to draw the face. My dragon? Your dragon? Has, my dragon? My type is a dragon. My type is butter dragon. Usually have a usually have a, a flame tipped tail. Okay. Cool, so, right? yeah. A flame tipped tail. That's pretty cool. So now, in here, I'm going to make his eye even smaller. Just because I think making his eye smaller makes him look more threatening. And I'll bring well, you don't put them these out like this. Mindless. No, I just think that these guys, like, you have to imagine this guy, right, is all about breathing flame. you got to imagine he's got to protect all of his, his uh, body with scales. And his eyes have got to be small so they don't get burned. But I agree, yeah, if you have two small eyes, you can make him look like he's not, not intelligent. Is what you're getting at? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Yeah. So now, these these scales up here, I'm treating kind of like armor plating, like scale, like a, not scale, uh, like, like a, what's it called, plate mail. So these plates kind of lay over each other. So you draw them from underneath and out like this. And then we'll have a horn here. And remember, we drew it like a straight line. But now I think you can just kind of take it and make it all curvy and have fun with it. Make sure not to make it too hard. Make what too hard? The drawing too hard? Yeah. Okay, I'll try. 
So now we're gonna put, make sure these triangles are here. But again, soften them. Instead of making them sharp triangles, you can make them a little bit softer where they connect to the face and have them be a little bit more, uh, imagine like fingernails almost, like horns from a, a cow. So they have a little bit of like softness to them. They're not like, you know, flat like knives. And so I can throw another set of these triangles out here. Triangles are really gonna help make this look really fun. So now, these dragons need to have ears. I think, well, you know, maybe they're like, they're like uh, alligators and they just have like a little hole for an ear back here. Maybe they don't have a big flaming ear because, you know, they can't, they don't have a big like flappy ear. Maybe that was a different kind of a dragon. So we'll go back here and we'll get more scales for the top of the body here. And as we draw around, remember these circles that we drew earlier? We're gonna use those as guides for how to put the scales on. So as we go back around, the scales are gonna follow the way those lines went, like so. Now, as we get further back, we might wanna add a few more scales. So we'll have one set, here, and then maybe a second set underneath it. So we'll see a second set of scales that follow the same pattern. Let's so go like this and like, like this. And then underneath you could put a third set if you want to kind of really make it feel like there are three sets of scales going back. Under here, let's take that line and continue it to here so we can put more under scales down here. So I imagine that a fire dragon isn't going to have a lot of extra stuff. Like he's not going to have a lot of flaring things we're or almost, things like that. We're That's okay. Out of time, but no, we're, we're going to keep going. Minutes. We're going to keep going because we talked a lot. No, no, yeah. So I'm going to keep going with this one. This one may end up being both monster art schools until I get this done. So, no, Dad. What? You don't want to get it all the way done, please. Why not? Because it might go on for tomorrow and. No, we're going to try and get this one done. Um, so now we've got his shoulder here, right, which is a, a sphere that we drew. We have the tube of the arm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we'll hold off to doing doing more of this one tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Let's, let's get the, the front of the body in. The problem is that once we do that, the, the rest of it's going to be the back end of the body, and it's not going to be as exciting. <laughs> so let's get... Let's get start the back end of the body his arms in here like this. Well, we have to do the fire too. And see what I'm doing is I'm drawing these plates and I'm kind of making them go down, around, and up. So it's down, around, and up. And I just make it look like they're overlapping. And that way it looks like these plates kind of hang over each other. Because I'm imagining this dragon is just, he's well plated. He's, you know, heat resistant, right? And then up here... This could be where the wings attach, if he has wings. Because um, that's where on a, a, you know, if you were going to draw an angel or something like that, that's kind of where he would put the wings. Humans don't have wings, so we don't know. But the imagination is that they're on the, the scapula, which is this bone that goes back here. So now, under here, we can draw some smaller, like, underbelly uh, scales. And then up here, we'll kind of go in with some nice bigger armor scales that kind of protect the body. And I think it's going to protect itself. It's protecting itself from fire here. So we want to make sure that these inner scales are like this and the outer scales are protecting itself from the fire that it's breathing. And now it's going to get a little hard here because we're right behind the mouth. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw... If I remember, it's resistant to its own fire. Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe the danger of being a fire-breathing dragon is that your your body, you have to have this special, you have to have this these armor plates to keep you from burning yourself. So now this is going to be our hand, and it's behind the head. I'll have to wait until she's done sharpening. We done? Right. Done. So the hand is behind the head. So what we're going to do is we're only gonna be able to see maybe two of the four fingers. So what we'll do is 
we'll, we'll put a, a circle there for one knuckle, a circle here for another knuckle, and we'll put a part of a circle there for the third knuckle. And we have to imagine the other knuckles over here. So these toes, we're gonna have them come out in different directions. So what we're gonna do is, so there's one knuckle, and we'll get the, the first knuckle of the toe, first knuckle of the toe, and this one we won't see. And this will be where we put kind of a triangle for the spike at the bottom of the, of the toe. And then we'll draw over, remember draw over that circle, in, and then over this circle. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll go over, in, and over. And that way it looks like there's joints under the, under the, the, the hand, under the skin oh, flip. of the dragon. Did you hear that? Oh, flip what? Did you hear that? No. Oh. So now, so you should, it should look something like this, and you can put the toenail piece there like that. There be dragons. There be dragons, yes. So now, that's a foot, that's one foot. The other foot's gonna be over here, and we'll do the same kind of thing with this one. So, with this foot we can draw down. Dad. Yeah, what? What are you doing with your hand? Can you take your thumb off? What? What's the matter? Is it over too far? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. So now, over here, we're gonna do the same kind of thing. But as we bring the arm down, remember we drew this, the tube here? It's gonna curve into the, f the back of the hand. So we'll make the hand kind of a box like this, okay? And we'll put one finger here. What was that noise you made? Two there, three there, four there. It reminded me of your monster words. And then we'll bring this say, th these toes out and I'm just drawing armatures for the toes so we know where they all are. And then we can put the knuckles again. And then we'll draw over the knuckles and down. And the same deal, we just over and around. And the reason why I have them all spread out like this is I imagine the dragon is perched on a rocky surface. So he's gotta have his fingers out to hold onto the ground. And I imagine also that if he's breathing fire, his whole body's got to be involved in the breathing of the fire. So he's got like, he's pushing his whole body forward. We'll put his other smaller finger there. Remember, we're always drawing around the Ooh. knuckles and in. What? Uh, can I help cross that? Oh, another dragon suggestion would be one of those old dragons from Europe that's part goat. Part goat? Yeah, well, we could do that. I heard but there are some that are wolf dragons, and there are some from, I forget where there's one with a, the head of a llama from South America. So that's kind of fun. A llama-headed dragon. Llama, 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 llama. No. So right here, this no. is his, no. going to be his chest. Dad. What? Why? You don't like llama, 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 llama? Stop. Oh, she doesn't like that, I guess. Okay, I'll stop. Um, so, okay, so now on here, we're going to try and mimic what we did over here. So we'll put the scapula there. And instead of these being turned this way toward us, we're going to have these turned away from us on this side. So we'll have the scales going away. And so the lines curve uh, with the arc away from us like this. And then we can put the points up there. And as we get to the elbow... We can go around like this. Am I using a point system? Not really. I don't know what you mean by that. And we'll come around like so. Is that a joke? No. Was that supposed to be humor? No. Oh. Okay, good. Because if uh. it was, it failed. Oh! Just like your face. Yeah, that's true. And my face is not very funny. But yours, on the other hand, it's a laugh riot. <laughs> ha! So here, I'm going to... Just show these plates kind of overlapping, and you just draw one under the next, under the next, under the next. And then these other ones under here, we draw coming in like this. That way each one of these plates looks like they're holding on to something. What are you doing? 
something. Okay, you were just making fun of me. That's not nice. Yes, I was. That is not nice. I was being nice to you, and then you started insulting me, so I insulted you back. That wasn't nice of me either. So anyway, so here's that chest there, here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to bring up his knee here and then bring his leg back like that. And that way we have the leg kind of curving forward and then coming back. And then it kind of feels like he's all scrunched up. But in order to do that, his far side is extended and his close side is squished. So whenever you squish something, right, it gets all squishy like your finger, right? So in here, you kind of almost have to see a compression of his belly under here. So maybe there's a big fold of skin like that over his, over his hip. And maybe he's got a fold here around his front arm. So we have to be able to compensate for the fact that this guy's all kind of curled up. Sometimes so, dragons have uh, flaps on their wings. They might, yeah. Flaps on their wings? Like ailerons? Well, ailerons, kind of. Like, 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 a, like, a, like a bird, of uh, an airplane? Uh, like, so now? Like, like that. Oh, like extra skin. Interesting. Okay, yeah. It's like bats do, too. Yeah. Um, I should have said so that. No, I mean, you can say it like dragons. So up here, we're going to put those... The fins, or the, the back... What are these called? Not fins. The big scales that stand on the back. We're going to have those there. Mine is going to be a dragon queen. Okay. And then here, I'm going to draw... The scales coming, again, I want them to be sharp. Like, if I do these soft lines, they're going to feel kind of mushy, and I don't want that. It's kind of weird. So I want, I'm sorry, was that not good paper? No, it's just weird. Okay. It's a, it's a rougher paper than I yeah, think you're used to. it's rough. Yeah, you got to watch that. Like, the paper that you use affects how you draw. So if you use a rough paper, it changes the, the texture of your pencil and how it goes down. So, like, right now I'm using a rougher paper than I'm used to. That I'm used to using for this, and so it has a little bit more of a texture to it, and so it takes up more of the more of the graphite from the pencil. It'll change the way your pencil works with the paper. So always be aware that your paper is actually uh, has an effect on how your drawing works. It makes it like fatter. It makes it yeah harder to do detail. So. Remember those, those lines I did earlier where I was drawing around the object back like this? I do that so that I know where to put the scales and I can squish the creature up like this. Sometimes. What? Sometimes the type of dragon that I'm drawing right now is uh -huh. higher than the dragon right now. Sometimes the queen's streaks of different colors though. Cool. You're going to have to color her now. So I now... Don't. No, I don't. So now under here, in order to make this work, what I'm imagining is that in between these harder scales, he's going to have little soft also, areas it, of little scales. Okay. So if it's so if they're they're very bad, their tail is super hot. Yeah. And I. Okay. And I imagine under here you'd have the same thing. You'd have these smaller kind of curved scales. If you look at an alligator, you'll see that right where, they're, where they have to like fold their bodies, there are these smaller scales. And so it enables them to, to fold their body around, move their body around without, uh, without, I guess the, without the scales, I guess, popping off. Because if they weren't able to flex, be flexible like that in these areas, you'd have, they'd have problems. So now we'll get a bigger scale out here and we'll come around just like we did with the arm. We'll come around with more scales like this. And these I'm going to bring up and around to the knee here. And again, we're probably going to do another squishy area here where there's those little, little scales. 
and we'll bring a big scale over the knee like that. And another one down here like this. And then we can go back with these scales like this. And we can do the same thing with this here. Now we've got these three toes. And again, we'll draw, we'll redraw those circles. We'll splay the toes out a little bit. Circles for the knuckles, circles for the the front knuckles, and then we'll draw around them like this. And then up and in. And now we're starting to really get see the dragon come together. So what I'm gonna do from here is I could do two things. Should I put should I put wings on this guy? What do you think, Luna? Sure. We'll just but they're just gonna go off the page, that's all. So so I'm going to erase some of these scales, and from the back of his arm, now if dragons are anything like bats, and they usually say that dragons have bat wings, or often kind they say, of at least, you know, Western European style dragons, the skin is going to come from their, from the, like the back of this arm up and out like that. Which is why I kind of think if you're a fire-breathing dragon, you don't want to have wings, because then you'd burn your skin of your wings a lot. I really don't no, 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 I don't. I think if they have enough training, they won't. Well, that's true, probably. So, but yeah, from here, this is going to be flexed skin. Baby dragons don't have, I think the baby, like, fire dragons, uh -huh. don't have really, really, really hot fire. Maybe not. Burn them. Yeah. And then they can, they can train. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good point. And yeah. As they get older, their fire gets hotter. Right. That's a good point. Okay. But so. As they get very old, their fire just starts to go out. Oh, really? So then we're gonna draw some more of these scales on here. I'm imagining. That's like my my philosophy. I like that. These type of dragons. They get dra they get older and their fire goes out, and then I guess they die, or do they become cold dragons when they get older? Maybe they transform into cold dragons. They transform into gold dragon, cold dragon wings, yeah. That'd be kind of neat, right? So they start out as fire dragons when they're young, and then when they get older, it's they become cycle, cold then. dragons. It's a cycle, actually. Yeah. So, so they never actually die. So I kind of drew... personality type-ish, but they don't really have, like, the memories from their past. Okay. Life. Oh, so they actually become almost new characters. Yeah. Okay, so then we have to finish up those t those top patterns. They all, they're in the scales there. <laughs> And then we're going to bring the tail around. And I think I'm going to bring. Underbellies, because I have I talked about the underbelly. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I got you covered. I had different kinds of scales for the underbellies. So we're going to draw back here to draw all of the, the fins going back. Now. Normally, when I do a drawing, I don't necessarily draw every scale. What I frequently will do is I'll just kind of hide things in, in shadow, like stuff you wouldn't see. So like right now, we see all this scale stuff in there. But what I would normally do is if my light source is this fire that's going to be coming out of his mouth here, I would probably make everything that moves away from that light source go into shadow. So what that's going to do is it's going to make... What? Added no. What that's going to do is it's going to make all the things on this side of the, the dragon's head be darker. And I'm not necessarily going to shade it, per se. Maybe I will. I don't know. But what I'll do is things like... What I do is I create shadow shapes. So what I do is I find a, a shape and I wrap it around the form of the object that I'm drawing. And I create a shape out of the shadow. So it's not so much rendering like trying to get a lot of different grays. I kind of just go for one gray or one dark and then let everything else either be dark or light. So under here, I'm going to let this go to dark because it's away, as far away from the head as you can get, from the mouth as you can get on that side of the body. So I'm going to let this they, all go they have some gems embedded into dark. Into their, into their scales. They might. They might have gems embedded into their scales. Now, why would they have gems embedded in their scales? Is that how they keep Rich themselves? Dragons. 
Right, but, but maybe that's how, maybe that's what they make their scales out of. No. Nah. Because oh, I've read stories where the dragons don't have natural scales and they make their scales out of gems, which is why they need them. So now back here, because this arm... So why would they need all that gold if they're not there to keep replacing? Because they're not there to keep replacing. I don't know. Their, their eyebrows, the dragon, this dragon queen's eyebrows, is filled with diamonds that look cool. like stars. And so on this side, that's really neat, Lauren. I like that. I'd say they live in the net a mountain range. So okay. Because it's not that flammable and there wouldn't be much forest fires. That's true. Yeah, you wouldn't want this guy running around Cal Southern California, right? <laughs> yeah. So now back down here, I'm going to draw... Were we in Southern, Southern California? What? Were we? One yeah. Oh. yeah. Los Angeles is in Southern California. Oh. We were there. They have a lot of forest fires there lately, the last couple of years. So I'm just going to make those go into shadow back there, and then I'll let this paw go into shadow paw? there. Paw. Paw? Paw. Is that called? They're called claws. Well, a claw is what's on the paw. No. The claw is what's on the talon. Okay. Well, you, you call it what you want to call it. I called it a paw. I don't... Hand, paw, whatever. Grandpa? What? That was a good joke. All right. So maybe I think right now might be a good... Is this a good stopping spot right now? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, we're past time. We're past time. I think we did a lot. Yeah. Right? Maybe tomorrow we'll finish this up. If you guys want to say mine, I'm going to guarantee show it. I'm going to... So what do you think, guys? We'll probably I, finish this I one up tomorrow. To, or, we can, or we can start a new one tomorrow and yeah. then finish this one up later on. I don't I, know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say mine is finished. Yours is finished. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm not quite done with mine. So maybe what we'll do is we'll start a new one tomorrow and I'll do mine... I'll do the rest of mine... Um separately but basically you'd want to continue the tail the way we do the tail the way we did the scales over here and then with the interior of the of the um you wings sure the underbelly continues on to the tail you got to make sure the underbelly continues onto the tail you're right a lot huh okay a bit <laughs> so and that's okay. If you guys want to draw different things than I draw, that's fine. Part of the joy of this is just being able to draw together. I actually kind of want to see a so, lot of it. We want to, we, it yeah, we haven't seen people's post postings in a while. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase post this out. No, no. If you post yours and it's done, you would really, really love to see it. Also, yeah. if, you guys are, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, don't forget to comment any questions you have about the drawing techniques or anything about that. Wow, you're like a little salesperson. <laughs> hey, no, I'm not. I know, I'm just kidding. So, and, uh, I'm going to leave that open for now. And maybe tomorrow we'll talk about how we can make this look a little bit more detailed. But I think we'll go to a new one tomorrow. And we'll, I don't know, maybe Water Dragon tomorrow? Um. Or what were you saying? You wanted Zerber, Zerberator well, tomorrow? I want to do that on Wednesday. What, Zerberator? Because we are going to work exactly in the middle of the week. Okay. So Wednesday we're going to do a Zerberator, which is a wolf dragon. And then tomorrow we'll do a well, water dragon, maybe. Okay? Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is the end of Monster Art School for today. Um, I'm going to... The more advanced Monster Art School classes, I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Uh, because it's just taking a lot of time to do both. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this better. Uh, so it's just going to take a little bit of experimentation so between the two different the two different things. It might be that the advanced ones go uh, only a couple days a week and we do the regular, the beginner ones more often. Because this one got pretty advanced pretty quick. So I think it could go either way. Uh, Wednesday is Jamie's daughter birthday oh wow cool well maybe we should make wednesday uh what sam wants to do actually yeah we could have we could have this right. and actually and something i'm thinking about doing well, something i'm thinking about doing is setting up a way of um mailing out the original drawings to people 
So at oh. some point, we'll, you know, as prizes or stuff or something. So Prizes on, I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll figure out how to, maybe we'll send out one a week. Contest. What? What? We can send out like one a week or something like that. Cool. To people so that they have them. Okay. Well, anyway, so looking forward to more stuff. We're going to be doing more of these as we go. Um, oh, and I'm going to be moving the live stream probably over to a page called Monster Art School with Steve Ellis. So I just moved, I just put the page up. So if you want to go, go there and like you it there. You can do a draw, uh, draw name thing. For, uh, right, we could do a draw name. You could choose a name or something like that. But what we're going to do is the Monster Art School page is going to be on Facebook and it'll be a place to put our drawings, put all of this stuff and put your drawings and we can all share uh, share our drawings and share our adventures in drawing with each other. So that's the, just so that people who aren't necessarily my friend on Facebook can get to it too. Because right now it's hard for people who aren't friends of mine to be what are you able to. Call it? Are you just going to call it Monster It's Art called School? Monster Art School with Steve Ellis. Cool. Okay. Did you already make it? It's already made. It's just not occupied with stuff yet. So it'll get there soon. Okay. <laughs> So, um, yeah. Yeah, I want you to share your drawings, too. <laughs> anyway, um, it's almost three, so we got to go, and uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Goodbye. Bye.